What's up, Taurus? What's up? It's Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your December 15th through the 31st love reading. This will be for your sun, moon, rising, also Venus. All right, Taurus, this is general. It would not resonate with all of you guys. If it does not resonate, please do check your moon and rising sign. All right. So let's see what's coming in for you, Taurus. December 15th to the 31st. Someone's being stubborn. I don't know. I got that energy for you guys, Taurus. I feel like, um, or for some of you guys, I don't know if you guys watch your moon and risings, but for some of you guys, this is your Taurus moon or their Taurus moon. Someone's being stubborn if this isn't your sun sign. All right. So let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. If you guys would like to book a personal reading, you guys can go on my website, fireintuition.com. I'm also on Instant Go as Fire underscore Intuition. So let's see, Taurus. Let's see. Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. All right. This is your energy. Doesn't have to be, but um, I feel like someone is ready to invest Ace of Pentacles. That's what I'm feeling. All right, we have the Eight of Cups and we have the Chariot. It could be a Cancer, but I feel like someone is ready to move forward. Someone's ready to come back. Someone um, definitely made a mistake or someone is realizing that they made a mistake by walking away from you, from this relationship, Ace of Pentacles. So someone is ready to finally invest in this relationship. So let's look at your spread. Let's see what we got, Taurus. So we have the World Card for where you're at right now. The challenge, we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, someone from your past is returning. What's on your mind? We have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so in the past, we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands could have been you. Maybe you have fire in your chart. Maybe you guys were determined to save this relationship or just fighting for it. So let's see what else we got. In the present, we have the Six of Swords. Someone wants to come together. Definitely past energy. So, not past energy. I meant to say someone from your past. So, in the present moment, let's see. The King of Cups could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If not, someone's in love. Someone's ready to let you know how they feel. How you see yourself. Ten of Swords. What's done is done. You're over it. You want to come out of it. You know, you're coming out of something difficult. You're not wanting to go back to it. For some of you guys, um, I feel like the Ten of Swords, where you're at, like the damage is done. Like, there's no more damage that could be done in this situation. And I feel like you guys just really need to, like, just let that energy go. Come to terms with your emotions and let it go. I feel like someone's being stubborn because we have someone trying to come in and offer you love. Whether this is new love or someone from the past. But someone's slick stuck on the past, all right? So let's see how you, um, what's in your environment. Five of Swords. Yeah, you guys are going through some type of inner conflict. I feel like this person that's coming back, you feel like they're playing mind games. Or you feel like this person is playing around with you. Alrighty. Um, your hopes and fears, we have the strength card. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be. But this is you guys. Um, I feel like when it comes to this situation with the strength card, you want all or nothing. Or you guys are giving up. Alright. And for the outcome, we have the five of pentacles. So... Let's see, someone's trying to take this relationship out the cold. Someone's definitely trying to recover things, Taurus. I'm definitely feeling that for you guys. But someone's being a little stubborn. Alrighty, so let's see what we got, Taurus. Let's see. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's pretty clear as day. I definitely feel like with the world card, like I said, um, new cycles, something new is trying to come into your life. The challenge is the past. So with the world card, someone from your past is trying to come in. I feel like it's a challenge because we have the Ten of Swords here for where you see yourself okay this person really really hurt you this person is um definitely trying to you know show you how much they care about you king of cups but i feel like in the past this person held back their emotions or feelings didn't express to you how they felt they said swords is what's on your mind you wanting some type of um answers this is you getting clarity maybe gaining mental clarity the ace of swords too i feel like um this is you, like, because, like, the Ace of Swords can also be, like, emotional issues, you know, because someone was very cold to you with this Ace of Swords. And that's why that Ten of Swords is here. So I feel like someone was very cold to you. It could have been this King of Cups. Someone was, like, very cold, not opening up, not expressing anything. And in the past, you were the Queen of Wands fighting for this relationship. 
you know, very determined, you know, because the Queen of Wands, she gets what she wants. And I feel like you guys were determined. For some of you guys, the Queen of Wands could be someone else, but we're going to definitely see. Six of Swords in the present, this person is trying to come back, like I said. Someone's trying to come together, trying to fix things out. I mean, fix things, work things out. All right? So, um, yeah, Taurus, let's go ahead. Let's clarify this. Um, yeah, let's clarify this a reading. Let's see what we got for you, Taurus. Spirit Universe, messages for the sign of Taurus in love. December 15th through the 31st. Yes, Taurus. Someone is definitely trying to come back and fix things. I feel like with the strength card here in your hopes and fears, you're scared. Like, you know, like not scared, but I feel like you guys, like, yeah, there's fear around this. You guys are a little worried, you know, because this person really hurt you. And you just came back into like, like you just found your inner strength and confidence. Like you're strong. Like, you know, you've been through hell with this person. And you're not trying to go through that again all right so let's see why the world card is here for where you're at right now why is the world card here for Taurus and where they're at right now december 15th through the 31st look see we have the strength card hell yeah you guys been through hell and back with this person and you guys are more confident than ever you know you guys are like very strong right now you know and you're loving the energy that you're in. I feel like for some of you guys, this relationship, this situation has made you stronger. And you guys are really now seeing like that you're stronger than you guys knew you were. And that's why this Six of Cups coming up as a challenge. The past is a challenge for you because you're not trying to go backwards. You're trying to move forward. And you're very confident right now. That's probably why the Queen of Wands is there in the past. Maybe in the past you guys weren't as confident. But now you guys are coming back into your confidence, you know, Maybe this person messed with your confidence, your self-esteem, whatever. But you guys are not having it anymore. You guys are really happy. So let's see what well, we got. Something flipped over. I know I've seen something flip over. Mm, a lot of stuff flipped over. So we're not going to take all those because that's like seven cards. So um, let's see. I really need to stop putting this Lush on before I do readings. I love this stuff. The Lush, the Helping Hands, I love it. It's my favorite. But it makes the card slide out my hands. But let's see. Messages for Taurus. There we go. So, a lot of cards. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have Judgment. I'm going to take them. Um, so, we have the Six of Cups and we have the Two of Pentacles. You guys are finding balance, okay? You guys are becoming balanced from... Um, a past situation. This is a soulmate connection. All right. Judgment. You made a final decision on what you're going to do. You know what you want. Okay. Now the eight of pentacles is here with the two of swords reverse. You guys have accepted that it's over with. Okay. For some of you guys, this is what you want. The eight of pentacles. You want someone that's going to build with you. You want a mutual understanding. Like you want an ego give and take. The two of swords is in reverse. You made your decision though. If this person is not coming back and giving you what you want, you're fine with that. You're cool. You know, because judgment is here. Two of Pentacles is here. You found balance in that. Now, I feel like it's a challenge because this person knows that you love them and you really love this person and really want to be with them. So I feel like your past coming back is challenging you because, you know, with the strength card being there next to the world card, you've been through one hell of a cycle with this person. And for them to come back and you put in all that work is you like going backwards. So you're not trying to go back into an old cycle. All right. I feel like a lot of you guys is wrapped up something karmically. So let's see why the Ace of Swords is here for what's on your mind, Taurus. Yeah, see the Nine of Swords. You're not trying to be stressed out no more. All right, Nine of Swords. You guys definitely had some sleepless nights. You guys were stressed out. You guys were worried. The Ace of Swords, you're getting clarity, though. You're gaining mental clarity. You guys were dealing with something emotional, okay? Um, and it was due to the fact that you didn't know how this person felt or what was going on. But you guys are definitely coming out of this Nine of Swords energy. All right, so let's see. Yeah, see the King of Swords. All right, you guys are taking your emotions out of it. King of Swords, you guys are thinking clearly. And um, this is you guys finding the truth from within with that Ace of Swords, getting mental clarity. Yeah, the truth is coming in, like, but it's from within. And that's what you guys are focused on, the truth of the matter. Like, whatever happened, it's like you accept it now. All right, so let's see why the Queen of Wands was in the past. Why is the Queen of Wands in the past position for Taurus? December 15th through the 31st. Yeah, see the devil in reverse. Yes, I love it. So you guys are releasing yourself. You guys are freeing yourself from some type of breakup, okay? Victory of your emotions. I feel like, like I said in the past, could have been a Capricorn. But with this Queen of Wands here, like I said, you guys were determined. You guys were wanting this relationship really bad. 
um, we have the high priestess. For some of you guys, this was a secret relationship and you found out about it. So you guys freed yourself from the situation with that devil in reverse because you found out someone was lying and cheating on you, you know? Um, and with the high priestess, your intuition is on Philippe. So you guys know what's going on. I feel like even though your intuition is there and you guys know what's going on, with this king of swords and the nine of swords, I feel like you guys are just in your head because this person did lie and cheat on you. You know, or this person did lie to you and do something to you. And I feel like you guys just like can't believe that they did this. You're just like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Ten of cups, you thought this person was happy. You thought you guys were happy. You guys, I mean, you thought you guys were in love. Everything was great. And then this happened, you know? All right, sorry about that, Taurus. So, um, again, the six of swords is in the present position. So, but I said, it looks like someone wants to come together. Um after doing a little bit of damage or doing some damage let's see why the six of swords is here yeah so we have the two of cups in reverse and it's like crazy because the two of cups is here in reverse with the six of swords so it's like neither one of you guys um are listening to each other this person wants to come together with you you're not listening to them they're not listening to you it's kind of weird though because i feel like in the present this person is trying to come towards you but maybe not telling you that they're trying to come towards you or I feel like with the Six of Swords, um, this person might be telling you like, oh, I'm moving on. I don't want to be with you. And that Two of Cups is in reverse, but I'm not feeling that. This person wants to be with you. They're playing hard to get. Someone's playing hard to get. Um, why, why is this Two of Cups in reverse? Clarify this Two of Cups in a reverse for Taurus. Someone's playing hard to get for sure. Yeah, see, the Ten of Swords is in reverse. So whoever this is, it's like the Ten of Swords in reverse. Someone's ready to get out of something difficult with you. Like, they want something positive. They want a fresh start. They want a new beginning, which is why the Six of Swords is there. But because they don't know how you feel or because they're, they're playing hard to get, it's like um, you're not listening to them. They're not listening to you. They really want to show you how much you mean to them. They really want the commitment back in this relationship, you know, like, because you guys are separated. They want to come back together. But they're playing hard to get. Because I feel like they don't know how you feel. Okay. So let's see. Why is the King of Cups here in the future? In the near future. Why is the King of Cups here for Taurus in the near future? Clear by this King of Cups please. Yeah. See the King of Wands. Whoever this is. Could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. But this person is in love. And this person is ready to take action. Okay. And come back into your life. The Five of Swords. They learn from their mistakes. Um, with this five of swords being in reverse are they not wanting to make the same mistake for some of you guys in the near future You're gonna have two people. Okay, so this king of cups can be someone new coming in and this king of wands Could be someone from your past or it can be vice versa Take out how it resonates, but if not they're both in the upright This person could be coming in both of those energies, you know full of love and ready to take action So let's see why is the king of cups and the king of wands here for the near future for Taurus The five of cups yeah, so whoever this is, the Five of Cups, this was like, okay, you guys were like betrayed. Like this person betrayed you. You know, this person, like this relationship, they put you through a lot of hell, was damaged. And this person is trying to come back. You know, like they're trying to return. They're trying to come back into your life. You know, and all the cups are empty because they don't, like I said again, they don't know how you feel. This is the same person. This is someone from your past trying to come back. But they're playing hard to get and but they're doing it because they don't know how you feel so like they don't know how you feel so they're playing hard to get so let's see what we got for taurus in how they see themselves right now with this ten of swords we have a fool in reverse okay so with the fool in reverse you guys are not wanting to take this risk okay for some of you guys you're not wanting to take this risk or this is you guys taking the risk but this fool in reverse though with this ten of swords it's coming out of something and someone new coming in. Or you guys are thinking about someone else. Or possibly someone else is on your mind. Alright? Because like I said, that King of Cups and that King of Wands can be two different people. You guys can have a water sign and a fire sign that you want to be with or that wants to be with you. Let's see. Yeah, see, but look. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So whatever this is, it's like you guys are not moving forward with this person right now until the drama has subsided. Like whoever this is, it's like you don't want to argue with them. You don't want to fight with them. You're over the drama. You know, look, you're coming up Queen of Wands in reverse. Remember, you were the Queen of Wands up there. So, like, I feel like with this Queen of Wands in reverse, you got to you gotta um act up a little bit. You know, I feel like you got to act up just for them to see that you are not playing games with them. Yeah, see, Seven of Wands is in reverse. 
you know so with the seven of wands reverse i feel like you know you're just at this point where you're just like um i feel like either the seven of wands reverse is telling me that this person needs to face the issues and problems that you guys have or you're just going to send them on their way and keep letting them run away from the situation because that's what they keep doing. You know, they're not speaking up. They keep running away from the situation, not willing to face the problems between you guys. So let's see why the five of swords is in your environment. Why is the five of swords in a Taurus's environment? December 15th through the 31st. Let's see. Yeah, I see. Pay the pinnacles. Someone's trying to offer it to you. You know, and like I said, this person, they had you in a third party or they were playing mind games in the past. And look, we have the world card. Yeah, see, they're trying to come back into your life. See, they want, they're trying to start a new cycle with you. Like, they're trying to come back into your life with this world card, whoever this is. And it's like, they want to be back with you, but they're playing, like, they're playing hard to get. Because like I said, they don't know how you feel, so they're playing hard to get. Are they being difficult? Why is this page of pentacles here with the five of swords? Yeah, see, we have the tower. So... The tower is here, so there might be some unexpected communication that comes in from this person, or something is about to shake up, okay? So if they were having fears around the situation, or if they were trying to avoid something, or avoid coming back to you, or avoid opening up, or whatever, it's it's going to happen with the tower here. They're going to they're gonna open up. They're going to put an ending to the mind games. They're going to open up. Could be a Scorpio you guys are dealing with, but they're going to put an ending to this, all right? So they're going to open up before the end of the month and tell you how they feel so let's see why is the strength card here clarify the strength card for taurus and what's in their hopes and fears december 15th to the 31st look see yeah we have the six of wands so yeah you guys are going to move forward with this person there's going to be a victory you guys are going to move forward this is this person recognizing you now appreciating you wanting to deepen the relationship with you um, this person sees your side of things now so this is you guys coming together celebrating i feel like they're going to hook up with you or call you or contact you during the holiday or like the first couple weeks of the year after the new year sorry um let's see what else we got yeah see because whoever it is king of pentacles in reverse whoever this is could be a taurus another taurus a virgo or capricorn but someone's stubborn as hell yeah see six of swords and they want to come towards you you know like they want to come together they want to be with you this person is stubborn but they're going to give in because the tower is here the tower is going to shake things up it's going to make them open up and express how they feel but whoever you guys are dealing with they're in reverse so someone was just stubborn and wanting control that was their way of having control not telling you how they feel not saying anything so why is the five of pentacles here for the outcome for taurus why is the five of pentacles here for taurus and the outcome december 15th through the 31st i don't know taurus are you gonna leave the asses in the snow say no let me see Three of Cups in reverse. Mm. So for some of you guys, um, I don't know. It's like it's like this person is like either this is them not happy and enjoying life and wanting to come back towards you and wanting to fix things, but they're scared to open up and they want this reunion. Or like I said, this person is very stubborn and they're going to come back and say something to you. But at this point, it's like you don't know if the relationship is, like, worth it. You know, like, for some of you guys, you guys kind of, like, want to move on. And it could be because they had you in a third-party situation. But let's see. Why is the Three of Cups here in reverse? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, they're trying to come back and act right. But you're not giving in or they're not giving in. Someone's not giving in. Why is this King of Pentacles in reverse? I mean, not the King of Pentacles. Sorry. Um, Why is this Tower in reverse? I mean... Sorry. Sorry, Taurus. Why is this tower here for Taurus? Clarify this tower. Yeah, see the five of pentacles. Yeah, see this person is going to come back and, and change things. Or they want to change things in a relationship. Yeah, but see, oh, that's you guys. Because the, the Empress is Taurus, our Libra, and energy. So you guys are going to like, um, so we have the Empress and the Eight of Wands. We have Temperance. I feel like if this person comes in, you're going to tell them, like, you're going to kind of, like, block them out a little bit, or I feel like you're not going to give them the answers or tell them anything just yet if this person comes back and tries to reconcile with you. We have the temperance card. I feel like you guys could have been dealing with the Sagittarius. If not, you guys are still healing or needing to forgive them still, or you're still trying to forgive them, or this is you guys just trying to find balance emotionally in the situation. So I feel like with the Empress in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse, this person is coming back and wanting to do right. But I feel like you're not taking action just yet. Like you're not going to give in right away or take action right away. All right. So let's see what we got. Taurus. 
Let's see what's going on. Messages for the sign of Taurus and love. December 15th through the 31st. Let's see. Messages for the sign of Taurus. So we have chemistry that flipped out. And we have let go of control issues. At the bottom of the deck, we have past life relationship, okay? So for some of you guys, this is a past life soulmate connection. And there is chemistry here. But just because chemistry is here doesn't mean that you guys are, you know, meant to be because there's chemistry here, okay? We have let go of control issues. Remember I said someone has been very stubborn. Someone has been very stubborn. And someone is controlling the situation or trying to have control over the situation. And it's due to the fact that they were hurt. So their emotions are you know, letting this situation, like they're, like it's either you or their emotions are controlling this situation. So we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And we have the nine of pentacles. So it's like either this is you, Taurus, or this is them. Someone's longing for you, missing you, wanting to be with you. Okay, and there's a lot of chemistry there. But the other person, like I said, is not giving in. So someone's not giving in in this situation. Okay. So, again, like I said, um, let's see. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And look what we got. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So, I feel like if you guys let go of control issues and allow things to unfold naturally, then this person will come around or you guys will have what you guys want out of this situation. The Ten of Pentacles. Because that's what you guys want. Marriage, security, stability. You know, you guys want to deepen that bond. You guys want to see things grow. You guys want to build with this person. So I feel like that's possible. If you are the other person, let's go of control issues. All right. And then we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. And look, we have the emperor. And that's you, the empress. So this is a past life soulmate connection. Some of you guys have been married to this person in a past life. If not, the empress here, this person is trying to come back. This person will be your counterpart. You know, um, not your kind of part. This person is like your divine partner, twin flame, life partner, whatever you call it. Um, but there's just a lot of issues going on right now. Okay, you guys are clearing up a lot of past life energy. Clear for the emperor. Yeah, I see the page of wands. This is a love-hate situation. Or this is a situation where um, I feel like with this page of wands, this person just wasn't putting their heart fully into the relationship and it lacked direction you know and you were disappointed and when you guys are trying to communicate with this person this person was being controlling and stubborn and stoic and just you know being an emperor just dry just not doing anything just not taking action not doing anything you know and now it's like they're wanting all of that and you're in the reverse eight of wands reverse you know so um just not fully giving in just yet all right, so again, like I said, this person, they love you, they want to be with you, but they're playing hard to get. But it's because they don't know how you feel. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, you guys can go on my website, fireintuition.com. There is a 7 to 10 day turnaround time. All right, I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye, Taurus.